Hello guys and good evening sa inyong lahat and welcome to ESL1 Berlin Major and this is our first series for today. So uh, day number one pa lang tayo for the group stage. And yung group stage is magtatagal hanggang April 30. So uh, habang ongoing tong game between EG and EG, nagkakast ngayon si Pauli ng Execration versus LGD. So yeah, bahala na kayong mamili ng mga series na papanoorin nyo kasi apat na series yung sabay-sabay ngayon. Pero dahil dalawa lang kami, dalawang series lang yung magsasabay para sa amin. But anyway, uh, GG, kakatapos lang natin ng Dream League. Kaka-qualify lang nila for Riyadh Masters. They went up against Team Liquid nung isang-isang araw yata. Well, uh, maganda naman na yung game performance nila. This past few days, parang nakakasabay naman sila sa meta. Though, I don't know about EG. Ngayon ko lang sila may kita. Kasi diba yung parang first patch natin is nag-start pa nung... Ano tawag dito? Nagtodok pa yung mic ko. Never mind. I mean... <laughs> Yung patch nag-start siya nung mismo Dream League playoffs. So, hindi natin nakita kung paano nilalaro to ng ibang teams. Aside from GGSR, Liquid, tsaka Tundra Esports. Parang sila lang naman yung apat na team na nakita pa natin na parang yun pa lang yung pro games na nakakatay ng patch. So, let's see what will happen for this game. But looking at the heroes for GG side, we're gonna have Chen and Rubik. And for the side naman, Fiji, it's gonna be CM and Underlord. So, ito naman yung mga heroes na nakikita natin last time. I mean, parang yung Underlord Okay siya this game. Kasi di pa parang fast-paced na yung nangyari for this patch. So, having the Fiend's Gate, kakaroon kayo ng time to react. Kasi meron tayong, meron Twin Gate, meron Fiend's Gate. Bahalahan na lang kung paano mo na siya abuse. And yung CM, they just pick it out just to counter out the Chen. Nasa meta na rin kasi talaga ngayon yung mga heroes na kaya ang kumontrol ng units. So, two supers ni Unai ng GG. And right now, we're just looking for the third pick of Fiji. So, medyo matagal din tong major. April 26 hanggang 30 yung group stage. Tapos yung playoffs. Kaya naman ito mag start May 1 hanggang May 7. So, two weeks. Yung itatagal ng major. But anyway, uh, Evil Genius says we'll go for the Disruptor on the third pick. So, okay naman siya together with the heroes of EG. Like, they have a lot of control. You had the Pit of Malice. You're gonna have that follow-up Static Storm. 10 seconds remaining. So, parang hindi na ganun ka-valuable yung BKB, no? Kasi, di ba, binago na yung BKB. Hindi na siya spell immunity. Di ba, immunity na yung tawag sa kanya ngayon. Kaso, having disruptor on the enemy side, parang kakailangan mo talaga ng BKB this game. Nagkaroon ng bagong patch, yung 7.33B. Hindi ko pa siya nababasa. Parang kanina umaga lang yata siya nirelease. So, tignan na natin yung changes in the game, but GG will go for the third pick Pangol Gear. So, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be Queen Zero. Yung naman sila gumagamit na offlane Pangol Gear. So, with this one, wala naman tayong pampigil for Evil Geniuses unless mauna na dito yung Pangol Gear. Ha! So, we still have a lot of time for GG so ano pa pang bagay with this hero. Yung pwede na siguro sila mas, I mean, mas better yata kung mga sila ng safe lane hero since they're going up against Underlord. So, puro safe lane hero yung binanaw dito ng GG or is already banaw. How about Riki? Kasi pag nag Riki, kasi ang daming root, ayun yung ayaw ng mga heroes na merong blink, yung naroot sila. So, I don't think Riki is a good idea for GG. Evil geniuses turn to pick stare ah. death in the face. Paano ko nakalimutin itong hero to? We can have Merta on the fourth pick. So, isa rin ito sa mga OP heroes talaga. High pick to ngayon sa mga tournaments, even MMR games, pop games. Lagi may lumalabas na Merta. Well, uh, for EG, meron naman sila magic damage, but it, I think it's not enough. And to deal with Merta, kasi Five parang kailangan mo ng remaining. enough magic damage. Since hindi nga siya tinataman ng physical attacks with his ultimate. I mean, with her ultimate. Guy 
Gaiman gladiators turn to void incarnate. So, uh, evil geniuses would go for the void spirit on the fourth peak. So, yeah, nakaran tayo ng changes. Si void spirit ay isa ng universal hero. So, uh, this would be the mid hero void spirit up against Fangled Gear. So, at remain. least as a step to matagos naman yun sa Rolling Thunder. Five seconds remaining. Yung tumatagos na kasi lahat talaga sa BHB. Yung debuff lang yung hindi. No, I'm not sure kung ano magiging build dito ni uh, si Smile. Si Sinesha na nag-void spirit na siya last time. Iba yung build niya. Parang puro stats item being a universal hero. Hinahabol niya talaga is damage. Pero for this game, let's see kung paano magiging approach niya. So for uh, EG, we're just looking for the safe lane hero and for the side of GG. Off lane hero ni ban. So, they're just removing heroes na hindi napapalo ng Merta, such as Lark. Ano pa bang maganda dito for the EG? Tinanggal na kasi nila lahat ng illusion heroes. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Ay, by the way, yung iba yung break ko. Hindi ko siya naayos pala. Gaiman Gladiators, turn to ban. Feeling ko maingay yung mic ko. Masabi pag maingay. But anyway, yung Ichi will ban out Tight Hunter. So, ano pa pang ginamit ni Ace? Centaur? Yeah, meron pang Centaur? 10 seconds remaining. Yung Aura Item Builder, yung kailangan dito ng Ichi. Ay, ng Ichi tuloy, ng GG. 5 seconds remaining. Evil geniuses turn to ban. So, uh, anti mage will be banned out for GG. So, uh, yeah, no, busan ang talaga tayo na safe lane hero. Puro safe lane yung tiranggal dito ng GG. So, I don't know what's left for Pahas. Maybe Bloodseeker yata. Ngayon pang counter sa Pangolier. I think tumatagos naman siya. Yeah, tumatagos naman siya sa Rolling Thunder. Gaiman Gladiators, turn to pick. So last ban for uh, Evil Geniuses would be Dark Series. So for GG, wala sila masyadong time. Actually, they don't have enough reserve time. So, maybe someone na kaya rin mag-start ang teamfight for GG. Kung ano mag-start ang teamfight, heroes na nag-build up ng aura items. Parang center na lang yung pinaka naiisip ko. Five seconds remaining. Evil geniuses so, uh, GG with the last week though. Don't we go for Beastmaster instead? So, Beastmaster for GG, at least we're gonna have that hero na kaya ang kumuha ng uh, objective since yun yung wala sa hero sila, yung mga malalakas na pumayo sa turret, go solo with heroes, provide that extra attack speed. Ten seconds remaining. So, we're gonna have a lot of units, which is yun nga, one of the metas na lang ngayon yung dispatch, pero for Evil Geniuses, meron naman silang way to clear out these units. You have Underlord for the defense, you even have Void Spirit. So, Evil Geniuses with the last pick, summon to lane up against the Beastmaster and with Two seconds left. Ay, last week nila will be Budge. You may now select your heroes. Last time na ginamit na ng GG, hindi nag-workout sa kanila yung Pudge carry. Pero din natin kung mag-workout for EG. Please with the Pudge, one hook. Patay agad yung unit. <laughs> Pero di ko sure kung paano siya mag scale for this game. Good evening pala kay Eva Joms. Natigil ba yung live ni Polly? Parang natigil yata yung live niya, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, wala tayong hard care na masyado for Evil Geniuses. I don't know how will they deal with this Merta. Kasi yung Merta, hindi ko din talaga alam ko na yung hard counter sa hero na to. Biglang nawala. Oh, nadisi daw yung internet niya. Ewan ko kung makakabalik pa siya. Pero tignan, tignan na lang natin. Hi, kay Jetro Lasola. Pero feeling ko magre live yun pag bumalik yung internet niya. So, looking at these heroes, parang mas bet ko pa rin yata yung heroes ng GG. Like, they have a lot of control, they have a lot of sustain. 
Or, okay, joke lang. Parang parehas 50-50 lang naman pala yung draft. Titignan mo, parehas silang active on the map. Though lumalamang evil genius na sabi, the underlord who can use his fiends gate anytime, anywhere. Yun naman yung laban nandito, pagandahan talaga ng rotations. Ay, kagi. May bad. Nag-black screen, no? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hindi ko alam may bago kasi silang silang na-layout. Ngayon ko lang siya na nagamit ulit. But anyway, first series pa namin tayo for today in YouTube station. This time is puro best of two lang. So, nawala na talaga si Polly. Nawala na ba siya talaga? So, magkakaroon na naman tayo ng post. Okay, wait lang natin sa glitzy pa kas. No post, please tell. <laughs> no post, pero nagkaroon na tayo ng post. Di wala pa lang. Ako po, ang likot ng camera man. Nakagising ko lang. Dahilan na ako agad. Hi kay Raynan, Christopher. Good evening. Ayan, nakabalik pala si Polly, guys. Nakabalik si Polly. Execration versus PSCLTD. Nawalan lang siya saglit ng net. <laughs> Hi kay uh, Daginan. Jason, yan, good evening. Apat na series tayo for today. Apat na best of two, so hanggang umaga. Hindi naman hanggang umaga. Hanggang madaling araw pala. Depende. Kasi ngayon pala, nagkakaroon na tayo ng long pause agad. Hindi ko alam ko anong reason bakit nakapost yung game. Walang sinabi, no? Wala ba? Wala nga. Wala. Tunga nga muna talaga. Yun. Thank you. At ang sa... Hindi ko rin talaga alam bakit gano'n yung kulay ng chat ni si Smile. Nakakaingit. Ay, but we're gonna have smoke for both sides. So, uh, tingin natin malakas naman yung uh, first blood potential dito. Parehas. Or actually, mas malakas yung sa EG since they have a lot of disables.
so early hours lang naman ulit on the twin gates. Ganun lang talaga yung meta ngayon kasi baka lamang makita yung mga so, naging rotation. Pero sa pagkakaalam ko, na-nerf na to, parang 4 seconds na bago ka mapag-deep. Previously, uh, 30 seconds siya. Uh, 30 seconds to 30 seconds. <laughs> The battle begins. So looking at the bounty runes, so hindi naman tayo yata magkakaroon ng early first blood. So 2 for 2 bounty trade-off lang naman yung mangyayari for this one. So a middle lane matchup is gonna be Void Spirit up against Pangolier. So pares naman silang mili hero. Parang wala naman talagang lumalamang with this kind of matchup. Depende kung gano'n sila ka-aggressive sa lane. Meanwhile, at the bottom lane, it's gonna be Celery together with uh, Rakyo on the Myrta. So usually yung Chen post 5 is nagja jungle lang. So uh, parang pwedeng ganun yung gawin dito ni Celery. Iwan niya na lang yung Merta sa lane. Since yung strength naman ng Chen is nagagalan talaga from the neutrals. Meanwhile top lane is gonna be Beastmaster together with Rubik. So uh, medyo malaka naman yung kill potential dito for EG having that combination Frostbite onto the hook. Uh, right now, they don't have enough disables to hold down ease or enough damage since a Beastmaster and a tanky hero. Her top lane again is gets caught with a frostbite and hook again and first blood will be taken by Panda and Tofu falling low on HP doesn't have the fade buff in 5 seconds. And uh, this time, Pahas will take the kill, so two stacks are got and the flash ship. That's a bit of all right. That's not yours. So still zero two. Bottom lane, nagkakaroon na naman tayo ng hatakan ng creep wave. Ang ganun na lang talaga nangyayari palagi pag medyo nahihirapan ka talaga sa lane mo. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So same build pa rin naman on the Beastmaster, going for Domi pa rin. Still 0 to wala masyado nangyari for the game. Na parang mga gantong he classing heroes, power spec is... Siguro pag nagkaroon ng ultimate sir, pag nagkaroon sila ng enough levels pa top lane, Hook will connect on to Tofu, there goes the Frostbite but Tofu still has the lift. So I think it's gonna be fine and pwede pa tong i-turn ace with that wild dance but not enough. Meron na tayong Ring of Health for the Pudge, as well as yung Stick Charges. Meron pa siyang Blood Grenade. So, okay din naman yung Blood Grenade since lang pro provide siya ng 50 HP. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, meron siyang 50 HP. Middle Tower is under attack. Either calling will be used, but Tiraki is all alone at the bottom lane. Sobrang hirap din talaga kumuha ng kill. If you're up against Thunder Nerd, 
Wala masyado mangyari sa bottom lane, same goes for middle lane, pero right now, Queen lumalamang siya at mid, having 30 lasses compared to 16 of C-Smile. So, uh, kahit na meron tayong 2 kills for the side of EG, we have 1k golden for the side of EG. Like, if we're gonna look at their last hits, yung 3 lanes nila, panalo. Yung not necessarily panalo, pero nakakuha sila ng decent farm. Compared to the heroes of EG. And, uh, oh, another pause. Saan hindi siya ganun katagal? Yo na. So, hawa na po. Sweet lang. Nauuhaw ako. Ay. Ay, hindi pa naman yata mag-start. Nag-sad face lang siya. Start. I got you. But anyway, uh, how about it? Go down, match. It goes down to the hands of celery. So, um, yeah, he has a lot of stun. Meron na para tayong mad golem. I said golem para. I don't know what I'm talking Whatever. Pero we have this stun from celery. Pero nga na pan of it. The rotation catches the lag, but he has a dead shot on to whisper. Yeah, he's still trying to run away. Meron para man siyang healing lotus. So, I think he's gonna be fine. Then naman yung another the calling to silence down the CM now at the middle lane rolling thunder will be used by Queen gets the first hit on to C smile and then naman yung clips to help them out. So two we go lead at six minutes and rune is at the top lane. So Queen na ho siya ng kill na ho pa siya ng power rune. So he doesn't have any spells pero kahit na ganun masahat pa naman yung damage output niya. Pwede pa rin niyang gamitin dito yung haze rune para mag-rotate on the side lanes. So, ang i-goaded pa rin naman for GG and ito na yung usual play with the Beastmaster. Stack mo lang ulit yung Ancients. The Wild Axe. Need boost up your farm and GG. Still din yung makakuha ng Wisdom Rune. So, we're gonna have that early XP onto Celerion onto Ace. Isa rin talaga yun sa mga kinokonta screen every 7 minutes. Pero EG, well, they're still trying to lean. Structures are fortified. But at the middle lane, another rolling thunder will be used by Queen Has the Eastern, pero hindi naman yung gawagaya sa rolling thunder. And the stun, not enough to take the Sea Smile, pero one more right click will do. And Queen will take the solo kill onto Sea Smile, pero at the bottom lane, Dirachia falling low. We're gonna have the gleams from Matthew, and Dirachia might not survive this one. Whisper with the final right click. And Queen with rotation, double kill. Tofu with the chase this time onto Matthew and he's gonna have enough damage. Panda will just DP out. 
So, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga rotations for the side of GG. Even though namatay dito yung uh, Merta, it doesn't matter as long as nakakuha kayo ng uh, raid kills. Sila pa rin naman yung ahead right now. Wala pa tayo nakikita kahit ano rotations for, EG, for Evil Geniuses. Pero ito, middle lane, they might try. Pero Matthew, mukhang din na yata abutan ng glimpse dito si Queen. So, he's just gonna get back to his face. I could look at you all day. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Radiant's top tower is under attack. To Celery. Dami na yung army dito. Sisma will be spotted out. They're gonna have to leave and into the calling they had the silence. Pero Sisma will make a step out. Pare naman siya. Wala tayong we for a gaming gladiator. So chase down this hero. So Sisma is gonna be fine. So back to farming lang ulit for GG. Okay, Regen Rune will be taken by Panda, so we don't have to leave. We don't have to leave. So, tricky gold lead for the side of Crime and Gladiators. And looking at the network, leading Jesse Queen, followed by Pahas and Ace and Diracchio. So, it's so much hard to buy this map if you're going to compare to the Pangol Year. It's 2.3k ahead. So, it looks like there's no any items. So, there's a rate band and threads. So, yeah, that's really the hassle they have on the Void Speed. Just stats. To provide that exit damage. Meanwhile, Dito si uh, Queen getting close on his defusal bleed. So middle lane as a step in from Seasmell. Golden Thunder will connect second one, pero. He smile has another asset step, but in the last one, so I'm not sure if Queen has enough damage. So he's not gonna try anymore. Being on the end, lagam ng ina fin damage niya pero panda with the TV. Very low on HP agad agad and yeah, abutin pa siya dito nung Harpy. Tama ba Harpy pa intag dito? Yes, Harpy. Doing chain lightning, so Orky go lead and Evil Genius. Genius. Evil Genius. They need to defend this mid tower. Need a new rotation from Whisper. Mid plus the fire star. One to Tofu, but we have the hand of God for to sustain. And Tofu might live even. Connects the stun on Tofu with the telekinesis. So Whisper will be the first of all. Walang mamamatay for the side of GG. Thanks to that sustain from the Shen. I think meron nating siyang mech. So mech plus hand of God. Need a nagin enough damage no Evil Genius says. And sixty gold lit and it's only twelve minutes. So this is not looking good for Evil Geniuses. Kaya tayo sabi mong sobrang yaman ng budge. I will miss my reflection. Now let's see with the situation. As we step it onto Ace, but it's way too tanky and sees my already falling low on HP. And that's it. Level four palang yung disruptor. And mo ang si Magic pa may bibigyan dito with the use of blade on the queen. She smile dissimulate out and as a step out. Pero queen with the swash buckle not can hit she smile. Pero at the other side, Celery gets a solo kill onto Panda. Pero Rolling Thunder will be used onto Pakaz. Hindi naman tama pero tingo mo amare para naman dito si Pakaz. So, parang kahit sino for the side of GG is kaya makakuha ng solo kill. In Matthew, he's only level 4. Ito rin yung nagiging problema ngayon for this fight. Sobrang hirap magpa-level as a support. Pag hindi mo nakuha yung Wisdom Rune early on. And yun ang nga kanina. GG slay na nakuha ng dalawang Wisdom Rune. And wala rin naman sila nakuha kahit anong kill. So, si Matthew, kailangan niya pa rin na maraming time bago siya mag-level 6.
Dyer's top tower has fallen. So with this and go lead possible my grosh and the GG. Three times so we be seeing after buying rush. And they might go for it. Meron pa rin naman tayong Pierce the Veil from Werta. Ba't pa tumatahol ka? So, oh, smoke play mukhang yung wisdom rune niya tayong pupuntahan ng EG. Pero andito naman si Matthew. Pero dead shot. Ay, makukuha pa naman ni Matthew yung wisdom rune. Pero we have to burst. And hindi siya makapag static storm. Pero good thing is, nag level 6 siya. Ang paluba globe na lang, no? Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. So what's gonna be the plan for if I mean for coming gladiators staying as far at the bottom lane? So pwede sila kumuha ng tower. Wala naman na silang ibang object na pwede makuha dyan aside from the tower. Pero Machi is finally back. Meron tayong Dim Set. It will catch Shelly, but do they have enough time to take him down? Pierce the ring from Duraki and Whisper gets controlled with the Trolling Thunder. And look at that sustain coming in from the Chen is back to full HP. And Panda goes down as well. Double kill for Duraki. And uh, they will take this tier 1 tower. Without the Underlord, hindi kayo makapag defend the tower. Meron ba tayong Soul and Firestorm from Tofu? So, pwede rin nilang kunin dito yung Ancient Stacks. Actually, you like stuck passive and another. Radiance middle tower. Is talaga <laughs> so it is stolen stuff. So salo pang madeling yung farm dito na EG. And look at C Smile sitting at 4k network compared to the post 5 and post for EG. Walang nang yaring maganda on the void spirit dito siya na karon ng rotation. So di ko alam kung paano pa makaahon dito yung EG. Parang this time, di ba dapat sa simula is nag-replay around ko sa mid-hero mo Pero with this kind of network, he doesn't have any items I think it would be better Kung mag-replay around sila sa parts since he already has the Vanguard and Aghanim Scepter Pag di parang nag-workout, di parang wala na, no? <laughs> parang yung punch na lang yung last hope dito for EG Eh, yun lang at si Ismael, he'll be taken down again Hindi na rin nila kakailangan yung rolling thunder to take down the zero. So, to go with the rat, wrap around play, Panda will be bursted down. Ganun lang kabilis, and with the 15k gold lead, still miss pa lang tayo sa game. So, si Paas na lang talaga, yung pwede mag-enable dito for uh, evil geniuses. So, pwede tayo mag-expect ng smoke play. Ay, thanks. No, I am bent to No, I am bent. So, it's a nice smoke play for the side of Evil Geniuses. Dyer are scanning. So, I think. Na read naman nila dito na may balak na grow siya dito yung gaming gladiators and now smoke will break. Ace will be the first to be spotted out. They had the Aether and then ultimate as well as the four, as well as the bit of malice and min. Pero look at that, doesn't have enough damage onto Ace and now Ace for already falling in low has the mech, but it doesn't matter. Roar will be used onto Pakas this time and he's surrounded by three heroes and by this uh, neutral creeps of the Chen and Panda with the piercing field not gonna do anything onto the heroes of gaming gladiators and four heroes will fall. For the side of Evil Geniuses without taking anything in the team fight. Sobran damning units on Chen. And hindi naman to kain laban ng lahat lahat ni Pahal. So this time, Gigi will just go for this Russian. Ages will be taken by Queen. So 19k gold lead. Ola pa rin ng ayari maganda for Evil Geniuses. And, uy. Okay, they're done. Kumu ala ng Russian dito yung Gigi and ayan na ng Evil Geniuses. Gaiman Gladiators! Oh, so much for the first game! <laughs> Walang kalaban-laban yung Evil Geniuses and that's it. 18 minutes GG call. 
ko rin alam kung anong sasabihin ko. But I think evil geniuses, masyado lang yata silang outdrafted. Not sure if outdrafted or sadyang hindi lang talaga nila kaya yung gaming gladiators. I mean, they're the top team right now. Strongest team, to be uh, honest. <laughs> Since kakapanalo lang nila ng major, kakapanalo lang nila ng Dream League. And uh, anyway, that's it for game number one. Tignan natin kung makakabounce ba Evil Geniuses at our game number two. So magkakaroon lang tayo ng short break and kita kits ulit tayo for the next game. Ay! Hala! Mali! 